guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again. In this week's vlog, I've come to uh, the Yorkshire Dales National Park again, and we're just outside the village of Malham, and uh, we've come to one of my favourite locations to shoot, which is a lovely little waterfall down in this wooded valley here. And um, basically, we've been here a few times before in the winter and autumn to uh, capture some of the autumn colours, and the water levels have been a lot higher then. But so uh, we've come now just to try and get something a little bit different, and hopefully the water levels, um, because they should be a bit lower now because we've had quite a lot of dry weather and I'm hoping to get something completely different to uh, what we've captured before and basically due to the um, sort of spring greens and everything as well it should be uh, a really nice image and something really interesting so uh, we're going to make our way down the woodland path here and uh, have a look through the woods as we go down and see if we can see anything and um, basically when we get down to the waterfall I'll set up and uh, talk you through what kind of uh, compositions I've uh, come up with so let's go Okay, so we made our way down to the base of the waterfall now and uh, set up for the first composition. I'm uh, basically trying to get the whole scene in, it's quite a large waterfall and uh, I want to try and capture everything that's uh, basically here before I move up onto the uh, next sort of level because there's a series of like uh, rock layers which sort of go up through the waterfall and because it's running low I can actually climb up on there and uh, get in a little bit tighter to the composition that I've seen before and I want to try that out. So um, basically I've got this um, nice stump here in the foreground and uh, obviously got the little waterfalls here trickling into the pools and it kind of works its way up towards the uh, top of the waterfall there and uh, I've included a little bit of sky there just to uh, have a kind of um, entry point for the water if you like um, I prefer to sort of try and capture that in waterfalls rather than cut it off um, I think it makes a little bit more sense uh, compositionally and um, it looks a little bit better as well when you can kind of see the entrance of the uh, waterfall. Okay, let's talk about settings now. I'm at 18mm on the uh, 18 to 55 It's as wide as I can go with this um, D3100. It's the widest angle lens that I have. So uh, I'm just about getting everything in there. I've had to move back a little bit and uh, that's allowed me to basically uh, capture the scene what I want. And uh, I'm going to be shooting a long exposure for this. I've got a six stop on there to try and smooth out the water. It is really dark down here anyway, so it's providing quite a long shutter speed anyway. And I've also put a polarizer on there just to, uh, again, slightly extend the shutter speed and also take the uh, little bit of sheen off the water. I've not fully polarized it, so I do want a little bit of reflection on there. I think it just looks too flat otherwise, so I've kind of half polarized it. And uh, like I said, shooting at about 8 seconds, F16 as well, I want everything uh, best in focus. And uh, it's going to be on a two second timer. So I'll tell that shot now. And let it do its thing. Yeah, I think that's looking really good for a first shot. So we're going to make our way up now uh, up onto these sort of stone layers and try and get a little bit closer and see if we can come up with some different compositions. Okay, so I've come about halfway up the waterfall here and we sort of stood on one of these rock shelves and um, I've come up with this really nice composition of the main cascade that's coming down the uh, rock face there. It's covered in green moss and uh, some really nice detail in there. And uh, in the mid-ground we've got this really nice tree and the roots, they look really good. 
and in the foreground I've uh, positioned some of these nice little uh, waterfalls at the front here which sort of go into the pool and there's a few sort of swirling bubbles in there and I think that'll make a really nice uh, interesting uh, foreground which will lead you in to the image. Now uh, settings wise Gone a little bit longer with the shutter speaks, it is a lot darker in this part of the uh, waterfall and the sort of light starting to dip a little bit as well. So uh, it's going for about a 15 second exposure. Again, I've got the six stop on there and the um, polarizer. Again, just half polarized so I can get a little bit of uh, sheen, uh, but not too much. So I'm going to take that shot now, it's focusing on the tree. Two second timer and uh, we'll just let it do its thing and see what kind of uh, image it comes up with. I'm going to have a look around and um, see if we can come up with any more compositions. There's loads of little waterfalls here. There's a couple just at the uh, immediate foreground here that I couldn't get into this sort of uh, composition. And um, I'm going to try and move a little bit further back, but when I do, the tree kind of covers up the main waterfall, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. But we'll have a look around now and see if we can come up with something different. Okay, so I've come back up to the uh, sort of top part of the waterfall and I've set up for the uh, final shot of the day which I think is going to be the best. I've had a good look around the sort of middle section and uh, because the waterfall is so dry at the moment it's very difficult to come up with a nice composition. All the little mini waterfalls seem to be on the far right hand side and uh, it's basically forcing me to shoot all the kind of shrubbery area there and I think it's just basically way too distracting in the image and way too... Um, it fills too much of the frame and it doesn't look good at all as a composition. So basically I've come up here, I've put the camera and the tripod as far right as possible and uh, I'm including all these little sort of fairy pools here in the middle with all these sort of swirling bubbles that's going to make a really interesting foreground and really pull you into the image and um, again there further up just off camera is like the main cascade coming down again it's got all the green moss and everything on there that looks really good I've included a tiny bit of sky again just to uh, provide that kind of uh, entry point for the water and uh, again just behind me I've got the uh, main tree with the nice roots uh, sh sort of showing underneath and I've also included um, a nice big boulder in the sort of uh, bottom right hand corner that's going to kind of anchor the image and uh, basically um, provide that sort of anchor point for you to sort of lead you in through the image and uh, it should look pretty good, I think it looks really good. In terms of settings again, we're on F16, again just to try and get everything in uh, focus in one shot. Because I've got the um, sort of uh, whirlpools in the foreground here, I want to make sure they're nice and sharp and uh, obviously everything else through the image. I'm shooting at between sort of 3 seconds and sort of 10 seconds. Again, there the light's changing a little bit, so I want to try and compensate for that. Also capture a couple of sort of fast shutter speeds to try and freeze the uh, foliage. Although there's not much wind at the moment, there is a little bit of movement in there. So Again, ISO 100 and a 2 second timer. I'll be focusing on the tree stump. We'll just let that take now and then hopefully it'll come out and uh, it should be good. I'll put that on screen for you, let me know in the comments what you think and uh, let me know which of the images from today you do prefer. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video there, I really hope you've enjoyed watching this week's video, it's been really good to get out and about, it's been a few weeks since I've been uh, out with the camera and I uh, really enjoyed myself uh, photographing this waterfall. If you let me know down in the comments what you think about the images, I really do appreciate the feedback and um, if you've liked the video please consider subscribing to the channel, it does really make a difference and uh, will help me grow the channel and keep me uh, encouraged to go out and do more videos and uh, also uh, hit the like and uh, share button, that also helps as well. I'm going to uh, walk out the woods now and maybe take a few more shots as I'm walking along, so I'll put them right at the end of the video. But until next time, bye for now.